What is up YouTube? Atreyu Locks here, bringing you another video. Today I will be delivering a lock repair tutorial. So if you have thin locks or thinning locks and you want to make them thicker, stay tuned. As usual guys, please hit that subscribe button and know that I'm beyond grateful for your support. And if you are already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell so that you are made aware of every future post as soon as I post. Let's get to it. So I have some thin locks and this is normal. They are not in danger of breaking off, they are just thin locks. However, I do have one lock that was once thin but has since thickened up. And now I wanna repair that thin section of the lock. To be honest, I don't really have many locks that are in need of lock repair at this point. And this is because when I noticed an issue along my lock journey, I corrected it. So most of my locks are pretty much flourishing now. But I know many of you are looking for a good lock repair tutorial. And so I thought I would use this as an opportunity to do some cosmetic work on one of my thin locks or one of my locks that has a thin section. So this is the lock, you guys. You have definitely seen this lock before in other videos. And if you're interested in knowing what caused this thinning or caused this thin section, then be sure to check out my thinning dreadlocks video after watching this video, of course. So we're gonna thicken this lock up. See how it just gets really small there? Yeah, let's thicken that up. Things you will need include some hair, Preferably human. I can't guarantee the results of synthetic hair. I'm sorry. A spray bottle with water. This is just some filtered water. And you're gonna need two palms. That's right guys, we're gonna be doing some palm rolling in this video. A lot of it. So when repairing thin locks, you wanna make sure that there is sufficient hair coming out of the scalp. It's never a good idea to add hair to a lock that does not have a firm, solid base. If your roots are compromised, then you're kind of setting yourself up. Today I will be using my beard hair for this lock repair tutorial. If you don't have access to beard hair, meaning you're not a dude with a beard, then you can always buy some 100% kinky human hair. And as you can see, they have it in different colors. So yeah, that's just an option. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is take some of that hair, and you wanna spray it with water. Make the hair more malleable. And guys, what does kinky hair do when wet? Exactly. The next step is to simply add the kinky hair to the thin spot. So you just put it on top like that. Okay, just kind of wrap it around. So it's like that. And then you're gonna palm roll this. So just put it in your hands and start to palm roll. As you're palm rolling, that hair is gonna spread out along the lock, which is completely normal. So that's what it's gonna to start to look like. So even though we placed the hair there, it spread it out further down, which is fine. So we'll just add more hair in that area. And we have a lot of length that we need to cover and thicken up anyway, so that's more than fine. So yeah, just continue adding hair where it's needed. So I'm gonna take another piece, spray it to make it damp, and then I'm going to take the lock and put it once again on the thin spot, just kind of wrap it around. And then I'm gonna start to palm roll again. up and down the length of the lock. Okay. At first, it's gonna look kind of bulky and just out of shape, but you're just gonna have to continue palm rolling until you get the desired thickness and shape. It also does not hurt to go back and spray the hair to keep it moist, because it's gonna dry as your hands absorb that moisture that was in the hair. All right, let's take a look at it. So it's starting, as you see, to thicken up. And as I said before, don't worry about the super bulkiness, like that lump right there. With more palm rolling, that will go away. So I'm just gonna continue adding sections and I'm gonna go down as far as I have hair for right now, for the purposes of this video, and I will check back in. Thank you. 
All right, so yeah, just keep doing it. Keep palm rolling. And if it's not as thick as you want it to be, then just add more hair. But add the hair gradually because you don't want it to be too bulky. It won't look very natural. And voila, you guys, this is what we have, okay? So I could continue to palm roll this and make it smoother. That'll happen over time, especially as that beard hair tangles with the hairs that are already making up the lock. So I don't need it to be perfect. You could also take a crochet hook and start to go in and try to cause those hairs to tangle, force them to tangle yourself. But I am okay with it just doing it on its own in its own time. The hairs that are on this lock right now that I put on there, they're not going anywhere. Okay, so you can see there's definitely a big difference <laughs> between what it was and what it is now. All right, you guys, this is a lock that I repaired years ago. And that darker part, that's the hair that came from my beard. As you can see over time, it has just sort of molded into the rest of the lock. Okay, so this is what you can expect when you do your lock repair using other hair, especially beard hair. Over time, that hair will mat up with the rest of the hairs in the lock. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't look perfect right off the bat. It's just gonna take time, just like your locks took time to actually lock up. All right, you guys, this was just a quick little video on repairing thin locks. I hope it helps you guys out, especially if you have locks that are on the verge of breaking off. If you have had thinning locks and need to do some repair, some lock repair, drop down below in the comment section and let me know what method you use to repair those thin or thinning locks. I'm very curious to know and I would love to hear from you. As always, if you choose to love, do so unconditionally because loving with conditions, conditions the heart to not really love at all. This is Atreyu Locks and I will see you next time. Peace.